this is um, the, the wheel plough. It's for ploughing uh, leyland, that's green land, or any, stubble land. Or, um, it's for turning over the sod, for making it eligible for uh, sowing grain or whatever you want to sow on it. And then when you have the land ploughed with this, and all turned over, you turn around and you get a harrow. And the harrows are down here. And you till the land. They're the old fashioned harrows. Now after them harrows came the spring harrows. And uh, they were there until the tractors took over and were different uh, harrows. But um, then if you wanted to sow potatoes in the land, you had to get the drilling plow. That's the drill plow. And you made your drills and you planted your potatoes in the drills. And the next thing you could do was on the drills when you had them made, you sown your turnips. Down there you put your seed and it came out here and you, rolled, you put your levers up and down here and went into the drill. And then this roller came after it and you rolled your drill. And this was uh, always an item, this was put onto the on the horse then you had this, um, a swing, you put this onto the horse, we called it a trace, it was a plow bike, and there were two chains on it, onto the collar of the horse. I have them at home, all them things all the time. And uh, often you, <laughs> you could mislay that thing, but uh, and you could break it too, because it's made of timber. This is a digger. And you, you let that down, there was a lever there, you let that down. And uh, the lever was out in front here. It's gone off it now, but that's a, that's a, the, it's a, it's a potato digger that goes under the drill, and that twists out the potatoes out, and you need a few fellows picking the potatoes after you. And this was a scuffler. The scuffler is for going between the drills, knocking off the weeds, and softening up the the dikes. And that's pulled by a horse as well. That's all horse stuff now. All this is a scuffler or a grubber. Some people used to call it a grubber or a scuffler. For take, for it knocks off the weeds. It roots up the weeds with the claws there. You know, there's five claws. You see the front one around the centre there. That takes the centre. Then you have the two sides, and then you have the two backs. And uh, it's pulled pulled by a horse all the time. This is your slide rake. This is for gathering hay. I worked that hundreds and hundreds of times. That's just put on the ground and there was, there's a handle here, the handle is broken out, the handle is there, and you tip it over. It gathers up the hay and you tip it over and you keep going and it, gathers, it brings the hay into whoever would be working in the field making the termcocks. And that brings the hay in if you're in quite horse and you pull that along the ground and it gathers up the hay. This is a hay buggy here, pulled, uh, pulled by a horse and these are the two levers here. There's two levers here out the front. And um, there's a, a rope here. And that rope is thrown back, put around the tramcock, and you pull one handle or two handles. One handle would do if you had no help. And you bring the tramcock up onto the hay buggy. And then when you arrive with the, with the hay, in the yard or wherever you arrive with, it's a, there's a tipping point here in it. You just pull a lever there and it tips up and leaves the, uh, the tramcock in the air. It's called a drill cleaner. And uh, there's a gripper on it here, but a drill cleaner we used to call it. You just go along the drill and it, it leaves, say if those road turnips going in the drill, it goes these side of them and it throws out the, the weeds. It cleans it off. Pulled by a horse for spraying potatoes, corn, whatever you want to spray with. You would need a quite horse. And uh, put your water and spray in here and the nozzles are in the back. Turn them out. That way. Put your lever down there. And uh, throw in your spray, whatever you're spraying with. And uh, there's a lever here for, for uh, operating, for letting that go, you know what I mean? There's a pump in that, that pumps out the spray. So that was a great um, step forward in farming to have that because before that, it had to be done with a knapsack sprayer. And then 
that took over. So that was great. A winnowing machine, that's what it's called. It used to take, see the thrasher used to thrash down the cotton, but uh, the grading in the old thrashers wasn't great. There'd be some kind of bits of straw through and bits of chaff and this, that. But this thing, there were sieves in it, and you could keep the, I have one, I have two of them at home actually, working. And uh, it was for sieving and cleaning the cotton, because if you were sown cotton again out in the land, or anything, you know what I mean, seed cotton, you wouldn't need bits of straw through it, or you wouldn't want, you know what I mean? So this, this was a great advancement. You let a lever down there, and you let down your mobile, and you could cut your field of hay with it, or cut anything you wanted with it, cotton or anything like that. But uh, it was a great advancement as well. You pulled it with two horses. There was a pole there going in the centre. And uh, you pulled it with two horses. And um, this is a pulper. That's for grinding your turnips. You put your turnips down there, or your mangles, or whatever you have, and you throw them down there, and you twist the handle there, and you pull it up. It's called a pulper. You, you make kind of, you know, break it up very small, and just for feed, you, whatever they, it come out within would be go for pigs or sheep or whatever, like and, and cattle or things like that, you know. These are, that's the schlein for cutting turf. That's for cutting, for going to the bog, cutting your turf. The shears was for uh, shearing the sheep. That's the hand shears for shearing sheep. And uh, if you wanted to be <laughs> poaching, that's a spear. The, the real name, I, I heard it on the, on the quiz the other night, the real name for a three-pronged uh, spear is a trident, T-R-I-D-E-N-T, trident. And that's a four-pronged fork for dung. Uh, dung, take, cleaning out the sheds and this and that and the other. And uh, that's um, just a heavy, heavy uh, fork. That's, that's a flail. That was before the thrasher. Did you ever hear, you see, you put your... Core and line on the ground, right? And you'd have the seed out there like that, and you'd have the straw back. And then you get one stick and you hold it, and you keep flaking it with the other stick. And when you'd have enough flaking, the seed would be on the ground, you take up the straw. That's how that worked. That was hard work. That's a flail. Hazel, hazel flail. And that's a hook. That was for cutting uh, cordon, or cutting, you know, hay maybe sometimes. And uh, that's, a hay, uh, that's a bench knife, they call that. That was for cutting. If you had hay inside in a shed, you could cut down a bench in it. And um, that's a hook again. A scythe, that was for cutting nettles and thistles and whatever you want to cut out the land. Mm -hmm.